My film is called Corazon Salvaje, which is, I translate to be uh, Heart Unhinged. And it's about the, it, I mean, it doesn't strictly have a plot, but what it's about is the insistent, the, the insistent independence of our bodily organs and our, um, our attempts to control them, which, of course, don't really succeed because the organs are in charge. Nice. And can you give us your name? Andrew? Yeah, my name's Andrew Keating. Andrew Keating. Yep. And, and I'm, a, I'm primarily a visual artist. This is the first film I've made, first animated film I've made, and it's it's actually part animated and part uh, shadow play. There's a couple of sections uh, with some shadow puppets in it that I've also made too. Nice. And yours is the featured show today, so it's, that's really nice. It's a featured show, and I'm showing second, so I'm excited about that. I feel like that's good. For it's really nice. Good. The audience is fresh. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm very excited to see it with an audience because I've never done that. I've only ever, even myself, just looked at it on the computer, really. I don't, I've never projected it up large, nor have I seen it with friends or strangers. Nice. Well, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to see your show. Thank you so much. These are really in control of our body. Mm. We call it Corazon Salvaje, which is... Corazon Salvaje. Yeah. I remember right. that. And awesome. Cool. When, which is yours? Mine is called Hanging by a Thread, mm -hmm. and it's about a post-apocalyptic future where the human humanity is only scattered in pieces. So I kind of relate it to your body Oh, interesting, because humanity is literally in pieces, not... Literally in pieces. Oh, what fun. Yes. That is a yes, good, nice but relationship. there is a new breed that may put it all back together, so... Oh, that's cool. It's yeah. kind of similar. Yeah. Because in mine, yeah. there's a... Um, I have a skeleton character who's actually yeah. picking organs off of a tree and and putting them together, but not in a. I just I made it sequentially, but that, yeah. for me it didn't work visually sequentially, yeah. so it's all that that aspect is broken up into different parts. Uh -huh. But it's, it's very similar. That's so yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, and it's actually Hang by a Thread is the first in a trilogy of shorts. Uh -huh. And you know, your characters are going to introduce. It's all about the close pin freaks. It's this character. Close pin freaks. Close uh -huh. pin freaks a character. Uh -huh. and there are other characters. How long is yours? Mine is almost 10 minutes. How, what did you use to, how did you use? Stop motion animation. You did stop, stop motion. motion. Oh yeah. Uh, Do you use that program that... Um, HD animator just to grab the frames. Oh, because at my school there's a woman who teaches with a program called... It's kind of cool because it shows you your last frame before onion you move skin. the... Onion skin. It's called onion skin. Yes. Right. It yeah, that's nice. very important. All right. these, all these softwares have that, uh -huh. so, so that you can see where your last frame right. was. Mine's, yeah. mine's uh, drawings that I animated in Flash, okay. and a little bit of After Effects, and also mm -hmm. some um, uh, shadow play that I did. Yeah. Because it's all in black and white. Yours is so color. Cool. Yours is probably color. Yes, yeah. mine is color. Right. right. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, that's nice. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, it's you cool too. that our themes are so similar, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I really like right. also. I really like the you know the um, early animation. Oh, so yes. I was I didn't yes. I didn't clean up a lot of the the rough edges of mine because I like the, yes. the certain I'm awkwardness glad. you know yeah. like a Leger movie or oh, right, right, ballet exactly. mechanique or things like that. Yeah 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 no it just there's a quality in it that you don't see in the very smooth yeah right polish right. you know do you know Jan Swankmeyer? Yes, I do a okay, little bit. So he's like my big. I learned of, I learned of him. I learned of him after I started this project. Yeah. Same with the um, the uh, the brothers Quay. I didn't know about yeah. them before I made yeah. this project either. Yeah. And I I discovered yeah. them part way through, and I purposely didn't watch until I was finished with That's my work. That's what I do. I don't look at anything. Really, yeah. Because you know I'm inspired enough. I don't. Right. I didn't want to. You know. <laughs> right. I didn't. But I didn't want to fall under their spell because it's a strong spell, and so is Fangmire, right? Absolutely. No. But Swankmeyer is he's just great. He's, he's fantastic. Just, oh no, God, he's unbelievable. He's awesome. Yeah. And there is another one, uh, the brothers, the Bolek brothers. No, I don't know them. Yeah, they did a, I think they're from Britain. They did a piece called The Story of Little Tom Thumb. I hope I'm saying it right. Yeah. Again, it's it's not, you know, it's originally a fairy tale, but this is really for adults. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, right. Scary and creepy right. and it's incredibly done and it's stop motion and it has pixelation as well. So there are people in it, they're like also animated. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. I like that too. Yeah. What's your name? Yes, do that. That's great. So this is for you and then we can do... This is yeah, for keep you. this one. Right. This is for you. Janet, you want one? Yes, of course. yes. I mean, really. Yeah. <laughs> the filmmaker detective.
Wow. Yeah, if you is it two or one? I gave you two. And then here, <laughs> this is like it's a spoof. You know, it's a spoof on the usual suspects. I, I love it. The unusual suspects. Uh -huh. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you solo? You're flying solo? Oh, yeah. Todd actually just had a race. Uh -huh. My husband in New York just had a race. The sailing what race. Oh, he sails. Yeah. And they just finished. in the main roles and uh, some extras there but most of the, the people you see in the street the scenes are normal people who are just down there at Venice Beach and um, if you think of the, the cornflakes show in the middle there which does and the little boy that runs up at the end so and this right. happened and uh, the best bits just happened so that's I'm a clown teacher by background and, uh, oh, I've done a lot of street theatre myself and um, the best bits just happened. Right. <laughs> so what we tried to do with this film was capture that spontaneity in some way that, that makes clown really exciting. I mean, the painted clown, old-fashioned clown, is not what works today. What works today is something that's immediate and connects with people. And um, so what we did was, yeah, we, we, uh, we, tr we shot those performance scenes with eight cameras. So we had, and a lot of them were 7Ds, which look like still cameras. And so you actually, they are in the shot there, but you don't really notice them because you just think, oh, it's a tourist camera. Sort of so that enabled us to, to capture a lot of the, sort of the real action of the people that were there. And so any of those performances scenes, uh, it's just one take that we're capturing on the model camera. And the other thing, just quickly, we did uh, to, to try and capture that response. Uh, 